Now, speaking of China, we have a little story here on Huawei. They're still there. They're still working. They're doing some interesting things. And one of them is in the land of autonomous driving, most of the attention gets placed on the vehicle itself and the sensors and the cameras and it's sort of mapping its way around a complex environment. Huawei is working on a sort of a different approach where they modify the roads to give better feedback to the autonomous vehicle with more markers and symbols and just better communication. This sounds very ambitious, obviously, because, well, roads are already there and they're not all created equal. Some roads are nice, some roads uh -huh. are less nice. So the thing they're working on right now, they're actually testing it with a bus that just runs the same route. So they know oh, okay. all the parameters. Yeah. But it is something that I've wondered about because you sit there thinking, okay, the way these scanners are reading the space, like they see the lines in the middle of the road. Is there some way to improve that? Is there some way to feed even better data as far as where the boundaries are or where it should travel at a particular speed? when it should start to slow down. I don't know. I just imagined that maybe the environment could be improved alongside the autonomous vehicles yeah. to expedite the whole process. So on a four kilometer road in the city of Wuxi in Jiangsu province, a self-driving bus travels back and forth, making, making stops, swerving past obstacles, accelerating, decelerating, you know, doing all that autonomous stuff. So embedded in the road, Traffic lights, street signs, and other infrastructure are sensors, cameras, and radars that talk directly to the vehicle. Hmm. See, this gets interesting as well when it comes to if you can imagine a future in which everyone has an autonomous vehicle and, you know, the gridlock experience on the highway, which isn't the case these days, but mm -hmm. if you can remember that, if the road is feeding information to the vehicle, all the vehicles, presumably the road could space the vehicles accordingly and have them in the most efficient position, traveling at the most efficient speed so that everybody can get where they're going fastest. So it could, could be a tandem thing at some point. You could imagine hopping onto a highway and it behaving sort of more like a train. You're just one car in a train and it's getting tremendous feedback to the point where your car not only knows what's happening directly around it, but it knows what's happening 40 cars ahead because the road is telling your car. Yeah, I've always wondered, like, with cars, um, you're making technology within the car, but not around the car. So if they could be talking, like, the road and the car, it's just... The road and the car. And, and that seems actually somewhat more feasible than the cars talking to each other. Because who's going to all agree on this technology? Right. Which brands are going to say, yeah, I'm willing to talk to you. And so I don't know how it gets implemented, but it is interesting nonetheless and it's another angle on the idea of autonomous driving